Hello there. Um, thank you for tuning on to another episode of um, the Scripture Breakdown Ministry. My name is David Abraham. And our scripture for today is Romans 4, verse 2 and 3. He says, For if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God, and he was accounted to him for righteousness. Again, for if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God, and he was accounted to him for righteousness. Now, I want to divide the scripture into four parts. The first part is, For if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast. Now, the key words here are Abraham, justified before works, and something to boast. Abraham, we all know, is the patriarch. Abraham, we all know, is a man who God chose um, and changed his name from Abra to Abraham. And um, he said, If Abraham was justified by works, what is the justification of works? The justification of works is a sort of endorsement, is a sort of a pass mark, is a sort of acknowledgement from God through your works. Be it um, service to to the Lord, be it um, living the practicality of the word, be it a man usher, be it um, a pastor, being a healer, be it um, somebody that shows charity, um, va, um, showing love to people, um, to catering for the needy, um, and every other work that that exalts the name of God and done under the auspices of the person of Jesus Christ. This is for if Abraham was justified by works. He has something to boast about. So Abraham never was justified by works. So if he was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. That means Abraham was not justified by works. Abraham was not justified by anything, by being a prophet. Abraham was not a prophet. Abraham was not justified by being a healer. Abraham was not a healer. Abraham was not justified by being a deliverer. Abraham was not a deliverer. Abraham was not justified by being a preacher. Abraham was not a preacher. And therefore, Abraham literally had no works. No physical works that would cause God to give him that pass mark of justification. And the second bit, uh, for what does the scripture say? What, yeah, what does the scripture have to say about this? Is it Abraham believed God? Abraham believed God. Now, what does that mean? Abraham had that inner conviction. Abraham had that strong conviction. Abraham had that strong inner feeling about the person of God. Abraham had trust in God. Abraham had hope in God. Abraham had, was loyal to God. Abraham believed God so much so that he exercised a high level of faith. One level is belief. Another level is faith. Belief is an inner conviction. Belief is something that has got to do with the mind. Believe is something that has got to do with the body, the spirit, and the soul. While faith primarily is got to do with action, moving from one spot to another because of what you have heard, or because of what you have seen, or because of what is about to happen. Abraham believed God. And the last bit said, and he was accounted to him for righteousness. So Abraham had no works. Abraham had no giftings. 
Peradventure he had, but he didn't. There was no evi evi documented evidence of him utilizing any of his giftings, spiritual giftings, physical giftings, talents, skills. His only strength was a strength that surpassed every other strength, and that was his belief in God, and that was. He's believed so much so that he had a strong mountain moving faith. And because of his belief, it was accounted to him for righteousness. In the faces of the test of time, in the faces of Sarah, who, who um, could not conceive until she was past the past menopause, until she was an age of a great, great, great grandmother. A belief which was past and beyond the sacrifice of his son. A belief which took, which compelled him to take Isaac to a sacrificial ground and wanted to sacrifice his only son because he heard, because he heard that God said so, because he heard that God said, go. And that was why he took his son to the altar to sacrifice him, to slay him as a sacrifice before God. Abraham believed God when he separated from Saul and said, and God told him, as far in Genesis, as far as you see, that's as far as your descendants will be great. Abraham believed God all the time. Abraham believed God from day one. Abraham believed God all through his lifetime. Abraham believed God that the Abrahamic covenant would continue until this day. Abraham had the awesome God kind of faith. And if you ask me, that is work. Belief and faith is work. Those were his works. Not physical works, but the work of belief and faith. And those were the works that God endorsed. Those were the works that God acknowledged. Those were the works that God kept that kept reiterating in the mind of God, those were the works that God saw and said, I account you as a righteous man. I endorse you as the justified one. I endorse you as my friend. I endorse you as with an Abra Abrahamic covenant, which will grow from generations onto generations onto generations. Now I want to pray that this scripture sinks into our spirit man and we'll be able to walk with it, we'll be able to run with it, we'll be able to sleep with it, we'll be able to eat with it and we'll be able to run through the practicality of it. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying we shouldn't engage in works but I'm saying we should engage in belief and faith. May God give us that belief and faith. May God give us that boldness to have faith and that gifting to have faith as a mustard seed. May God give us the grace to continue to live under his auspices, the grace to act that verse that said the just shall live by faith. May God continue to guide us. May God continue to protect us. May God continue to see us through the journey of our Christian life. Thank you so much for listening. And God bless. God bless.